in today's video i'm going to show you how to make taro or kuchal roti i don't know all the names all the products i know english it's called taro if i'm not wrong or mistaken and in bengali it's called kuchal roti so i will stick to those two names right now but if i find any other names i will add, definitely add them so for making you can add one tablespoon one teaspoon of mustard seeds i'm using the black mustard Once the onions starts to change color and become translucent, add the taro. Here I have washed, cut, washed, and peeled the taro yesterday and put it in the fridge. So add that to the pan. Add salt, <coughs> sugar, sugar about one teaspoon. One half teaspoon, dried red chilli. You can add chilli paste like green chilli paste, but I have chilli homemade chilli sauce that I made, so I'm going to add that. It also has a lot of flavor. Turn medium to medium high heat. Fry this for five to seven minutes. Check it at Cover and let it cook for five to seven minutes. Like, if you take it, you can mush it like this. Oh God! Wait, let me. After seven minutes, you can like smash this. What? <laughs> yeah, you can smash this like this. So it's. Ninety percent done. When you can do that, see you can do it by hand. At this point, add about one, two, two teaspoons of prepared mustard. I'm using kasundi, but if you have any prepared mustard at home, any kind, any brand, you can add that. Stir for one minute and it's done. If you don't have kasundi or any prepared mustard like English mustard or anything, you can simply grind two tablespoons of mustard seeds and add that. It's done. This goes best with rice only. I won't suggest. I won't like suggest you to eat it with roti because I never try it. Maybe it will go well, but I always have it with rice and I like it with rice only. But if you try it with roti or anything else, do let me know. Now fry it for one minute after adding the mustard, and then if it stops spawning everywhere, I will be most happy. Then serve it out. 